What's up guys, Chris here. In this video I'm going to teach you how to create a table view with actions, which means that when you press a cell in the table view, you will trigger a segue to a view controller which will display data based on which cell you pressed on. Many apps use this, so let's just get started and learn how to do it guys. First of all, I'm going to open up Xcode and hit create new Xcode project. Then I will select single view application and call it table view action application. Hit next, hit create. Here we have the project. I will go into the main storyboard and add a table view to this view controller here. Just like that make it fit nicely and I will then control click and drag from the table view to this yellow dot here and add the data source and delegate and then in the attribute inspector I will add a prototype cell I can then go into the view controller and up here I will say UI table view delegate and UI table view data source just like that and if you haven't watched my other videos on how to create table views, you will now see that we always make use of these two functions here. Uh, number of rows in section is a function which just means or that here you define how many rows you want in the table view. And this function down here just gives you the opportunity to populate a cell with whatever you want to. Um, it could be image, a label or something else which is super nice and we are gonna make use of that but up here I will create through three arrays the first one will be called name array it will be an NS array like this the second will be an image array like this and the third will be a description array which is also an NS array just like that and I will insert or um, what I want to have in these arrays in here in the view did load and I've actually done that um, so I will just paste it in here and you guys can pause the video and copy this if you want to uh, this is basically just the name of the four pictures I'm going to make use of and this is a reference to these pictures and here I have a description for the pictures so I don't even have the pictures yet so I'm gonna go into the assets folder and drag the pictures from my desktop just like this and now we have the pictures so I will go back to the view controller and start off by saying in the number of rows in section we want to have as many rows as there are pictures so I will say the name rate dot count and now that's done and in this function here I will define the cell by saying let cell is equal to table view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier and I will have to add an identifier to the cell so I will click on the prototype cell here and then up here we can select an identifier I will just choose a cell this is just a string you can call it whatever you want and then the identifier is cell and this will eventually return the cell so I will say return cell down here but we want to list all the names so in here I will say cell dot text label dot dot text is equal to our name array and then index path dot row just like that and if we compile and run now yeah it wants to say that it's defined as a string so that's fine if I compile and run We will see that we have a nice table view with our four 
uh, images or the name of the images, the titles here. But we want to create some action for these. So I will go into the main storyboard and add a, not a table view, I will add a normal view controller here. Just like that. And in here I will select uh, insert an image. So I'll insert image right here. And we want to insert two labels, one for the text and one for the description. So I'm going to put that in here. This is for the for the uh, title and one for the description. Just like that. Um, yeah. So I will have to create a class for the view controller. So I will go file new and file again. And create a Coco Touch class. In here I will create a UI view controller called uh, description view controller and hit create. Now we have that. In here I won't do anything yet. I will go into the main storyboard and select this view controller, go into the identity inspector and um, select the description view controller right here. And while we are here, I will copy the name and put it into the storyboard ID field here and press enter and also mark the U storyboard ID radio button right here. Just like that. So I will then open up the assistant editor here and create a outlet for these things. I'll call it the image and the title I call it the name I guess and then call this the description and I will also create three variables which can hold the data so I will say mar get a name is equal to a string and var get image is equal to a UI image and then a var this get description is equal to a string as well. And then down here in the view did load I will say that the the name dot text will be equal to get name and the image the image dot image will be equal to get image and the description dot this text text is equal to get description just like that and we are good to go that's all for this class here. Um, to make this app a little more smooth, I will now select the main view here and go up to the editor and hit embed it in and then choose navigation controller. This will give us the opportunity to toggle around really nicely and create a, create a back button up here in the corner, which also looks nice. So, I'll go back into the view controller and now we will have to add what is it saying here as a string yeah whatever down here I will create a new function and this function is called a did select row at index path so basically what this function does is that whenever we hit an item in our table view or a row in our table view we can trigger some action and we are going to do that so in here I will define a variable for the storyboard called storyboard and it will be equal to UI storyboard and we have a name which is just main and the bundle is just nil like that and then I will say DVC which it stands for destination view controller and this is a variable we use to choose which destination we want to go to 
so here I will say storyboard dot instantiate initial view controller and we will have to do that with the identifier so with identifier here and the identifier is just the same as the name so we want it's called the description view controller so the identifier is the same just like that so here we go because we made use, use because we are making use of a navigation controller I will say self dot navigation navigation I can't spell navigation controller dot push view controller push view controller yeah and then we will say D V C and we will say true to make an animation of it just like that so down here I will then say DVC dot get image and that will be equal to our image array and then index path dot row and we do that as a UI image and then DVC dot get name which is equal to name array dot index path dot row as a string and dvc dot get description is the description array oh my god index path dot row as string just like that so now we have defined everything we should this is yes so if we compile and run the app now let's see what happens we have the table view and if I select a waterfall we will get to the other view controller and here we see the image of the waterfall and the title and the description here so this is a basic way of doing this um, and it looks really nice that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video then hit the like button below if you have any questions then just leave a comment i will definitely answer and in the future if you want to see more of this hit the subscribe button because i will be uploading so much more and yeah stay healthy stay in school if you have graduated then stay graduated and keep on coding have a nice day evening night morning see you guys in the future